Welcome back to The Green Sage, the channel where I help you spiritually grow up so you can glow up. This reading will be a, um, a collective message about the new moon coming up in Aries. The new moon will take place, uh, depending on where you are, either on March 31st or April 1st. And it's, it's bringing us this energy of, well, first off, Aries is about taking action, right? It um, has to do with making moves, being strategic, and that's basically, you know, the gist of what is going on astrologically but I wanted to get some cards out and see how it will be impacting us spiritually and physically so um, this new moon reading I will just be using oracle cards and then I will also be filming another video where I use the tarot with the collective oracle cards that we get right now um, to to offer you a more in-depth reading on what you can personally expect so yeah like this video subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell so you can be alerted to when the next pick a card new moon video comes out so you can get a more well well-rounded view of what you may be going through over this next month. So the first cards that we have out are productivity, pumpkin, number eight. Eight has to do with abundance. Um, me being a gardener, you really have to be discipline, disciplined in your productivity in order to grow, you know, beautiful pumpkins like such and, and harvest them. The harvest is the abundance, right? So I feel like this new moon in Aries is really going to be, it really wants us to take a look at how we are being productive, how how we are bringing in our abundance, being more methodical in that, being more disciplined. Maybe there's been a new business that you've wanted to start. Maybe you have been wanting to find a more stable job or work environment. Maybe you are wanting to start a family. Maybe go back to school. Let's see. <clears throat> the next card out was happiness. Oh, that's awesome. 15 reduces down to a six in numerology. And for me, this happiness coming out with the, let's go up, I don't know how many, how much space we're going to get. Um, this happiness card coming out with the six is about balancing your work life, your relationships, you know, balancing this 3D like material world energy, the things that you put your time and energy into. And that is why this pro productivity is also coming into play. We're being called to really become more disciplined in, in creating our happiness and, and cultivating that happiness. Happiness is abundance, right? Whatever whatever it is that makes you happy. It could be a relationship. It could be looking for friendships. It could be a job. It could be a career. It could be that money. 
but collectively this is what we are all all looking at here this Aries new moon it's really trying to bring in our happiness it's really trying to help us I think to really look inside and discover what happiness really is for us is that working 60 hours a week is that um, being a stay-at-home parent is that working less hours and being at home with your family more is but also not let me back up here we're being asked to really sit down with ourselves and and really be honest and and discovering what our happiness is and where our happiness lies but also we're being called to take action and that's what aries energy is about to take action and do the work to reach that happiness the next card out that we have is look at the bigger picture full moon and sagittarius We're being called to to really take time to plan and to strategize and to figure out the direction that we want to go and head there. I mean, I think I've basically already said that. But maybe I needed to say it in a different, in a different way, in different words. We're being called to really look at our lives as a whole, everything that we do, and and really be honest with ourselves about whether or not these things will lead us to our ultimate happiness, if it will. You know, it's like, it can even have to do with, with the body and taking care of yourself, you know, vegetables and eating better. You know, if you know that in the long run, having a healthy body that is, you know, free from pain still and you're not overweight and you have the energy to do things or whatever it is, you have to make the right decisions now, right? You have to eat the right things now in order to have that in the future. It could be going back to school. It could be that you want to, I don't know, become a psychologist, psychiatrist or something. Well, you really need to start planning that out. Figure out the school you're going to, figure out how much it costs, figure out how much you have to spend on school. We're just really being called to really I want to say mature, but I you know um but I don't want to say mature. We're being called to take control of our lives. We're being called to Stop making excuses as to why we possibly are not happy, why we can't be happy, why we, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Um, next card out, what should I go for? Let's do this one. We're being called to really sit with what happiness means for us is happiness traveling all the time and visiting exotic places is happiness just knowing that you have enough f money and safety and security to put food on your table and get you through to, to retirement at a decent age what is happiness for you 
Have you been doing unproductive things that are delaying your happiness? It's time to look at the bigger picture and really, really focus, really decide, make a decision on where it is that your happiness lies. Do you want to get married and settle down and have children? We, uh, the next card we have out is 16, reduces to a seven. All that glitters. And that came out in reverse. When it comes out in reverse, that means there is a, there's a protection message to it. So I always want to read these and receive the full message. It says, this is a signal to walk away from what you're contemplating. There is a thin veneer of glitter and sparkle that masks something rotten underneath. Pursuing it will only bring about a difficult situation you will be sorry you got yourself into. Stay away. Isn't it wonderful how spirit protects you? Better things await. Right, it's, this new moon is calling us to release these these things, these habits, these tendencies, these excuses that we might make and do, you know, procrastination, um, the self-sabotaging behaviors. We're being called to really look at ourselves, call ourselves out. Spirit is calling us out. And if we work with the energy of this new moon, it will help propel us into our happiness. It will help propel us into our abundance. It won't be this fool's gold. It won't be this fake gold. It will be true abundance, whatever that means for you. If it's money, then it's money. If it's just having a great, you know, love of your life to come home to every night until the day you die, then that's what it is for you. It's going to be different for everyone. The next card out is bear spirit. Stand up for yourself. We're being called to really step into our power of of owning our own happiness, of owning owning it. I don't even know how else to say that. We're being called to own our lives. We're being called to <laughs> to really grow the fuck up. And I <laughs> I did not want to say it that way, but that's all that keeps coming to mind. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all spirit wanted me to say. It's, it's time for us to grow up, grow, the, grow up and stop making excuses as to why we do not or cannot have this thing or these things that we know will lead to our happiness. And if you don't know what it is that will truly make you happy, then still pick a direction and head there. You won't know if it's the right direction until, until you do. And then at which point you redirect yourself. You take a U-turn. And you look and you keep looking, right? But it's time for us to stand up for ourselves and, and to really speak our truth about what it is that we want to be happy. What it is that we need to be happy the next card out is card 19 uh, that reduces to a tool in numerology. Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. It's This new moon is bringing us balance in within ourselves. It's bringing us the knowing, I want to say. It's giving us the knowledge um, to know ourselves a little better. 
it's giving us the strength, the fierceness, I want to say, to really step into our own power, to really um, believe in ourselves. And to, honestly, to live for ourselves. It's calling us to be authentic to ourselves. And that's what this, all that glitters in reverse is about. It's asking us to be authentic. It's asking us to really take a hard look at where we are in life and where it is that we want to go. You know, airy season is the new, it's the beginning of the new, um, you know, zodiac year. It's about starting fresh. It's about reinventing yourself and really really being methodical in taking action. Getting to know the new you. I think I just said reinventing ourselves yeah that's what we are doing we are getting to know the new us we are getting to know the authentic us um you know you could have been someone who was really into social media and following celebrities and all these other things and now you've realized Why have I been putting my energy into this? It's not getting me to where I want to be in life. You could be someone who just kind of dated around because you were like, I'm young and what if I can do what I want, right? And now you could be thinking, I really want to have that special someone that I, that is loyal to me and that I can come home to what do you have to change to become that person that you are seeking what do you you know there's so many things that this could be I don't even want to get into speculating what it could be anymore because that video will go on forever um, but this new moon is really asking us to, to make a plan for the future, to make a plan for the dream, for obtaining the dreams and the goals that we have for ourselves. We have some affirmation cards to end the reading and to hopefully, you know, Hopefully you carry these thoughts with you and you can, I would actually suggest writing down these mantras, um, these affirmations and putting them on your bathroom mirror or just somewhere where you know that you will see it and you will be able to keep it and in the back of your mind for this next month, um, if not longer when you are thinking about your happiness and when you maybe have opportunities to stand up for yourself. The first affirmation card says, today I am healthy. Today my mind, my heart, my soul are one healthy being. That's what... Um, the balance within ourselves. I think I said that. That's what this is about. It's being so healthy in your mind, your heart and soul that you know where your true happiness lies. I know there's been plenty of times in my life where My heart wasn't healthy. My heart was broken. Or my soul just felt 
fragmented. My mind was not healthy dealing with anxiety or depression or, you know, things like that. And there were, during those times, there were things that I thought that I wanted that would make me happy. There were things that I thought, there were things in my life that I thought were just this beautiful, sparkly gold, that it was so magnificent. But now, in a healthier mind and body and soul and heart, I see how foolish those things were and how I am so much happier now and so much better off for it. And maybe that's some lessons that some of you will be learning uh, during this new moon. But remember, lessons are always leading to blessings. Um the lessons during that work, that toiling um, to learn the lesson always brings in a harvest. The last card out is, says, today I am receptive. Today I will let go of the past. I will live in the present and I am looking forward to a bright future. That's a beautiful thing that this new moon in Aries wants to bring in for us. And that is really about that happiness card. You, um, it's asking us to be receptive of I want to say not judging books by their colors. There might be some surprises that come up. Um, some lucky occurrences and synchronicities might pop up for you that you probably would have passed up on before if you weren't in a healthy mind, heart, and soul. If you weren't in this energy. But now, being productive and having a plan to work towards your happiness enables you to be in a receptive mode. It allows the universe to co-create with you to bring this happiness about. But you can't do that until you really stand up for yourself and speak your truth as to what happiness is for you. And what you need to do to start heading that direction. You know, you can't live in the past thinking, well, you can. But this full moon is asking us to no longer live in the past about the failed attempts or the arrows <laughs> right, that didn't actually hit the target. Um, it's asking us to let go of those things and to start new, start new with this Aries uh, season, with this new moon in Aries, and to really look forward to a bright future because if you do the work, if you do the work, if you put in the time and effort to do the work, to really get healthy in your mind, heart, and soul. You will have a bright future. You will have a bright, happy future. I do want to say that with this All That Glitters card, one thing that might pop up for many of us is letting go of things. Letting go of things that are no longer serving us, that are not as glitterific as they appear, right? Those things that, that the universe has maybe been trying to take out of our lives, but we just are too stubborn to allow it to happen, or we're too in our own way to see it. But... Um, 
I don't know. That might not, might not be for you. It could just be for a few people. It could just be for myself. But um, I think this, this energy of this new moon is, it feels very powerful. It's, you know, it's recreating ourselves and fully stepping into our authenticity and and our full power in heading towards our happiness. And luck is on our side to do that because the stars have aligned. <laughs> so um, I hope this reading is beneficial for you and it gives you some insight um, and maybe some understanding when things pop up for you over this next month or so. And hopefully you will be able to think back to this reading and pinpoint, oh yeah, this thing here that I've been holding on to that's really keeping me back from my happiness. The green sage told me about this. I just have to let it go. Surrender that so the happiness can come in. Or you might get into a situation where you need to stand up for yourself and speak your truth. And where you normally wouldn't, maybe you'll think of this video and it'll give you the strength and the willpower to do that. Maybe you're unhappy in a situation and this video, if you remember it, will give you the strength and willpower to really speak your truth and and to f focus on yourself and your happiness. So please like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell so you are alerted to when the pick a card uh, version of this video is is posted and you will be able to then get a more general not general but a um i want to say more personalized reading of what you may be able to expect over this next month with the current energies that we have coming in um, with this new moon in aries so i will see you in that video until then stay well Stay blessed. Bye.